This is a quick tutorial to show you how to change colours in Illustrator CS5. The same basic approach can be used in CS4, CS3. So I'm just going to get also on the PC and on the Mac. Right, so I'm just going to select a normal path, a single colour path. So you can just change the colour here via the swatches at the top. So you can go there, red, yellow, green, just click on those. That's a quick way of changing the colours. You can also change them using the colour palette. So I'm just going to drag that over so you can just quickly change the colors so you can now move the sliders along change the colors You've also got grayscale RGB etc etc you can invert the color complement of the color so you can quickly change the color that way you can also go to the toolbox and you can double click on the fill so just double click that so you move the color over so say red, click OK, changes the colour there. Right, well that's for a single path. Now I'm just going to go to a more complex thing. This is a multicoloured circular design. So I'm just going to, now obviously I don't want to change all the colours there. I'm just going to, uh, well I could do that quicker. So I'm just going to go to the edit menu and then there's edit colours and adjust color balance. So I'm just going to change the colors here. So it just brings up a dialog. Click the preview so you can actually see the changes. So you can actually just change the color there and make it bluer. So on, so on. You can just move the sliders until you get the color for the whole of all the paths. Of course, you can, if you wish to just select one of the paths, you can actually, I've actually got it as a group, so I'm just going to ungroup. So you can just go to the edit, edit colors, and color balance again. Preview. It's not a sticky, unfortunately. Preview. So, so you can change the color of an individual. Thing. You can also grayscale. Right. Click cancel that point. Now, just group that again. Right. Now, to actually change the individual ones, if so, if you end up with a path like this, a group path, so you can actually double click on a particular item so I'm just going to double click on that and you get an isolated item there so just so you can actually go to the individual part pass so just going to change the color of that so go and click another one so you can just quickly change all the colors of a complex path if you wish that's one way of doing it and then exit the isolation mode so just go straight out so the colors remain as obviously changed there right so you've got a slightly more complicated there next thing to do i'm just going to select create another quick path just circle the color guide that's another way of changing the color so you just actually change them via just click on the colors here of course you've got a whole range of different uh, types of things like compound triads triads shades and so on and so on so just click on that you can also recolor quite it's quite a nice feature of uh, so I'm just going to create a few additional paths okay now I'm just create that right and select that and now you can just go through change the colors for whole selection of things you can just randomly change color order now there's there's many different features for the recolor artwork. I mean it's it's got a whole heap of assigning and tweaking things and ugh, quite a few different features. So but I'm just going to go through the basic ones so you can just change it, tweaking. So just go through various colors. That's the basic step of changing colors, recoloring via the recolor artwork. Right, the next feature to actually use another way you can do it also is changing via the swatches. So you can click the swatches palette, which you can find in the window menu, swatches, and you can bring up the swatches palette. So you can just click on that, get rid of that. Uh, the next thing is the appearances, appearance palette. So appearance palette. Now this is quite one of the more useful features of Illustrator. So appearances and fill. You can actually see the fill there. So you can actually click on that and again bring up the swatches so you can change the color there. Right. Click 
click on that. You can actually make slightly more complicated paths. You can actually add an additional fill. So add new fill. You can just click on that, which obviously overrides the existing one. And you obviously can make more complicated things like styles. You can actually save that now as a style if you wish. But I'm just going to quickly show with effects. You can actually go path, offset path, 20. Right. So you can actually create a slightly more complicated sort of the original color and the fill color that's uh, added to the path using the offset. So you can actually see the setting there. Anyway, that's uh, there's probably other ways of doing it. There's uh, like various plugins you can find. Uh, there was uh, the KPT Vector Effects plugin. There was a, a really good color tool in that. You can use that for changing colors. And I'm certain there are other plugins as well that can be found that can change colors. Certainly, graphic extras have got uh, a few random color features uh, in most of the plugins. Also, there is actually uh, <coughs> in volume one. Uh, there's um, volume two, I should say. Volume two. There's a, a plugin that uh, uh, of the Andrew Vexus plugins. You can actually change the colors uh, randomly and tweak it in thousands of different ways. So uh, anyway, I hope you found that of interest.